Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Up Level Academy's Monday Momentum. And the reason why I wanted to hop on here um, is because I was doing some reading and I was extremely fascinated by it. And you might already you know, know this, but I didn't know that um, when a, you know, a woman is pregnant, I knew that they obviously had amniotic fluid that surrounds the baby. But what was interesting is that researchers have discovered that what a mother eats actually changes um, the amniotic fluid, like the flavor of it, so that when the developing fetus, the baby, when it is able to you know, um, take in the amniotic fluid, it actually gets to experience um, the foods and flavors um, that the mother is ingesting. And what is remarkable is that they said that if um, you know, the, the mother-to-be you know, eats a wide variety of food, um, then the baby is more inclined to have um, more of an acquired taste for it, which makes sense, right? Because they're used to it from that environment. And so they're saying, if you want your, you know, your baby, your child to, to really enjoy broccoli, then start eating it. And that got me thinking about how important the environment is. It's important even to a developing fetus, um, something as crucial as just exposing them to a variety of flavors and food. And that is the same even as our child is developing, whether they are you know, very young or a teenager. It's about exposing them to a little and often a variety of things. And that's really crucial for reading because you know, many parents, you know, they say that their child doesn't read or they say that their child has a specific genre that they really, really love. And although it's great that your child is reading, if they're not reading a variety, then they're not getting the benefits from reading. Um, and equally, of course, it's vital that you show them. I mean, you can see from my, um, you know, that's my, one of my tree bookshelves. I've got a wide variety up there. I don't know if you can see very clearly, but I've, for example, got some um, comics there. I have Stephen King. I have Charles Dickens. I have a wide variety. Um, and it's because I love reading a variety um it's because i you know started to develop that habit as a teenager just to read as much as i could to expose myself to a variety of different authors styles um even you know books that have been translated as well um so i wanted to share with you some free online resources that you can just expose your child to um so oh not this one let me share that again so let me see, where is it? Oh, it's on this page here. So give me a second. So if I share my screen this time, hopefully it will come up. Here it is. There we are. So you can see here that there's a variety. So if you go on to, um, you know, readanybook.net and I'll put them in the, in the comments as well for you guys so you can have them there, but readanybook.net. If you click on any of these books um, and it tells you a bit about them, which is great, gives you the ratings. And then you can actually download it um, in different, different versions and formats. And what I really like is it, it uh, saves you having to you know, buy loads of books or you know, going to the library because you might have a child or a teen that isn't gonna go. So there's no point um, you know, creating a situation where you're gonna lose, right? But if it's done from your own home, done from you know, any device, iPad, laptop, um, you know, phone, then it's easier, it's more convenient, and then it's less resistant from your child or teen. What's great about this, they don't have to read the whole thing, they can just read a bit of it, um, but at least they're being exposed to it. Um, so that's a fantastic resource. Another one is Google Books. Um, Google Books, again, is free. You only get a limited, um, a limited amount from um, Google Books. But for example, I'm just putting teen fiction in. Um, you can put clap when you land, for example, this is one of the examples. And then you can read a bit about it. Um, and again, it's just exposing them to a variety of works that they, they might not themselves you know, pick up and willingly read. And as I said, Google Books is great because it's free, but it is limited. So you can't read the whole thing. Sometimes you can with some of them, but not, not often. Um, Amazon, again, is great too. Um, if you go into Amazon, you can you know, click on anything that you want here. I've just got literature and fiction for children. You can get it for teens and young adults as well. And then, for example, if you click on here, take a quick look. You know, there's free samples. Um, again, if you click on look inside 
And again, it just allows you and your team to go through it or your child just to go through it and read a little bit just to see whether it's something they would like um, to read. So you're not wasting time going to the library or purchasing a book that they never touch. But even if they decide not to, it's still great because you can have that discussion of what do they like about it, what they didn't like about it, um, and also what they think they've done well, where others might have rated it well. Um, Epic Reads um, as well, epicreads.com is great too. Um, and again, this offers you some free samples too. Um, and again, it's just exposing them to books that they may never have um, read before. It gives you a bit about the author, um, product details, phrase. So, you know, what reviewers have said about it. And again, you can look at that and then have a discussion about, well, why, why is it that people have this opinion, even if they themselves don't like, but again, you can see, you get a nice little, you know, little snippet of it. So you get to have a taste. So I like about this is um, you can um, have the feeling of, you know, turning the pages, which is fantastic. And then again here, this is um, authorsden.com. And again, I've just put in, um, you know, free young adult teen sample books. And again, what I love about this is you can download it. It gives you an accept there, it gives you a bit about it um, and professional reviews. So again, you can have that discussion. And I think that's really important. It's not just about um, the reading itself. It's also about that discussion too. So I get that, um, you know, it can be you know very busy, but even if you can read a little bit of, of those books as well, or, or those samples, um, even if it's just once a week, twice a week, build up that habit, and with your child, you can then have that discussion, which is really crucial because it helps them to think about and reflect on what they're reading. Um, and that's, again, because a lot of parents, they find that their child is either an avid reader, but they're not translating it into their studies or their exams. And it's because they're missing that link between implementation. And so having those discussions with your child enables them to do that. And as I said, it could be as simple as what did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? What does it relate to in the real world? And what other books does it remind you of? What are the themes present? What um, you know, language did you notice that you felt was really powerful? Was there any moments in what you've read that you particularly enjoyed? Equally, what didn't you like? And then again, if you look at some of the critical, um, you know, the critics, the reviews, why do you think they felt that way? Um, so it, it can be, you know, as as um, you know, in-depth or as simple as you like, and it's still going to be beneficial. Um, to your child and again it gets them to you know look at different genres and if they have got a favorite genre and you're reading something that isn't then you can get them to compare it you know what are the differences between those genres those types of books um, what are the similarities and it just helps them to, to broaden their horizons um, so I hope that's helpful to you um, and as I said I'll, I'll give you um, a list of those links so you can click on them and access them yourself but just bear in mind um, the environment that you create for your child is really important because it helps them to develop their tastes, um, to develop their understanding. Um, so please do make sure that you're, you know, you're providing an, an enriching, you know, learning experience. And it doesn't have to, you know, cost a fortune. It doesn't even have to be an inconvenience. You can do it from um, your fingertips at home. So I hope that helps. Have a fantastic Monday. Have a great week. And I should also let you know, we've got some exciting news. Obviously, Black Friday is coming up and we've got something special that we're going to be announcing. So do keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, have a great week. Bye for now.